nowadays, this ergish, this emotion of yira and pachad from within, people find sometimes a hard time to relate to it and to experience it. The poil, we saw the lantern his time already, mentioned how the feeling of yira has gone down. Everyone used to be scared already, trembling from the And the feeling of, of pachad and yira <coughs> has been somewhat numb. Part of the reason is that we're living, as Rabbi Seinu have taught us, in Ikvas of the Meshicha. And the Lashon of Ikvas of the Meshicha, so as Emma says, the Lashon of Ikvas is the Lashon Ekev. Ekev is the heel. Klal Yisrael throughout the Doris is like Nimshat to different parts of the Guf. The Abbas HaKadoshim, obviously, the Free of the Kadoris was the Rosh. And as time goes on, we get down lower and lower levels of the Guf. Till the door right before Mashiach comes is ikfas of the Mashiach is like the Akev. And the Akev is a part of the guf that spam is numb. It's numb, there's no feeling on it. It could get hard as mamish like a bottom of a shoe and it doesn't have the feeling. So a lot of times in this door, to, to be margish, to feel, experience emotionally these feelings of ruchnias on the, on the proper level is, is difficult. However, Chalza is anything that we could of feeling the Hergish of Yira, and maybe a little t tonight we'll try to discuss at least the understanding of the Indian of Yira is also, is also a benefit. <laughs> Lamaisa, on the one hand, as we said, especially now, the, a major, a major chilak of the Avodas Hashem is the Avodas Hayira. I go back to say, Mislicha Zoichalim. A posha trembling and shaking. On the other hand, the tour in Hilchos Rosh Hashanah brings down that Klal uh, Yisrael is different than other people. Other umos, if they have a din, they're loy b'shchayrim and they're scared and they're pachad and they don't know what's going to be. But Klal Yisrael before Rosh Hashanah, they're mistaprim. They take haircuts, they're smeichem, they're oichlan on Rosh Hashanah, the simcha, ki batuchem shayasa lehem neis. They're sure that a neis will happen. Someone wants yadua, someone wants yes to brisker up. If the Torah says, says the B'Shem Chazal, batuchem shayasa lehem neis, and that's why we make a yontif out of Rosh Hashanah. So what's the whole pachad? If we're batuchem shayasa lehem neis, what's the whole pachad? The brisker up answer, he said, it's only after you have the pachat, only after you're scared and you have the pachat, then you could be batuach shiyas lemdes. But if you don't have the fear of the pachat before, then, uh, then there's no batuchim shiyas lemdes. What I just want to try to understand a little bit tonight is what's the pshat? If HaKadosh Baruch was anyway doing an ace, it says yas lemdes, the schia, when Klai Yisrael, Mitzah Shem, Mezoi Chabedin, it says in Chazal it's a nace. If HaKadosh Baruch was anyway doing this nace for us, why does he need us to be scared before? That's what Biskura said. If you're scared before, you can be batuach. If you're not scared, not. The only way to be zoich, Hashem needs us to be scared first, and that's the schus. Through that will be zoich to the nace. What, what's the Hezber of that Indian? <laughs> We're talking about now the Yira as a Hachana Fadim. There's another place where we find that Yira is also a Hachana. Yira is also a Hachana to Torah. Like it says in the Pasuk, Reishis Chochma Yira Hashem. And Reb Chaim Velashner in Nefesh HaChaim and Shadalad is Meirich on the Indian of Yira Hashem. He's talking about a lot the balance between Torah, how that's the Iker, and you also have to balance that with Yira, with the Yonim of Yira Hashem. And he brings down a Gemara in Shabbos that says the, that the Torah is doima to tfua, to roiv tfuas. And it says, V'yiras Hashem hi oitzaroi. And the Yiras Hashem is the oitzer of all that tfua. It's the place where you store, the storage house of all of that tfua. And he explains, he says, an unbelievable mashal. He says, let's say you have a person who has a lot of sodas. He has a tremendous amount of sodas and he grows a lot of tfua. The tfua is worth a lot of money. 
could be worth millions and millions. If he has big, big pieces of land, it could be worth a lot of money. But, says Reb Chaim Belashim, it's Pashat. If he grows it beautifully, he's mashkia, he invests so much time and money and effort to growing it. And when it comes at the end of the season, when he has to harvest it, and he has no way to put it, he has no oitzer, it's worthless. All the tfuah that he has, all the millions, is worthless because it stays in the, in the sada, it gets spoiled, animals come, trample over it, it's all worthless. All the shabbiest, all the shabbiest of the tfuah is worthless if there's no, if there's no oitzer. So Chaim Belashim says, if Chazal say that Torah is doyma to roif tfuahs, Torah is tfua, and Yirash Hashem Yoyt Saroy, someone who has Torah, kola Torah kula filu, shas, boys, kim, everything, and he doesn't have Yira, says Rechaim Belashim, he has nothing. It's cool that he has nothing. And just like the tfua, he has nothing. It's, he has it, but it's, it's out there, it's going to get trampled over. It's not going to do anything. And the male of that Yirash Hashem Yoyt Saroy. Over here also, you have to understand, what is the pshat? In the, in the Moshev of Reb Chaim Belashna. Tfua in the Sada, what's good about Tfua in the Sada? What, is, what do I have from Tfua in the Sada? Shabba Kesef. It's worth money. Shabba Kesef, Kesef. What do I need Tfua for? What do I need so much Tfua? The only thing I have out of it is that it's worth money. And if I have no Oitzer, I can't get any money out of it. So it's bush, it's, it's worthless. That I understand. The Shabbos of Tfua is the fee, the money that I can get out of it. If I can't get any money out of it, it's worthless. But what's the dimion to Torah and Yira? Avada, without Yira, it's kefer lach, we need Yira as Hashem. But it's cool, you have nothing. Somebody who has kola Torah kula, he has shas, he has poiskim, he knows the landed, can say svaras, everything. But without Yira, it's cool that he has nothing. Why? Tfua is only shabbis is kesef. Torah has no value. There's no value in Torah without the Yira. Why is What's the chant in this duke, in this marshal of Reish's Chochma, Yiras Hashem, Yiras Hashem, Yoy Tzorei? What's the Akdama so stark in Torah and Chochma that it needs Yira, and without that it's nothing? You have nothing without it. In Ein Yira, Ein Chochma, the Mishnah says, Rebbe Chaim Belashen brings that too. There's no Chochma. It's nothing. Why is it called nothing? We find in the mitzvah of Yiras Yira Hashem, the Rishonim say that there's two parts to the mitzvah of Yiras Hashem. There's one part of Yiras Hashem, which the Rambam calls the simple, the Yira of Lahana uh, Oren, I think he says, for the, the, the more childish, the more basic form of Yira is Yiras Avinish. That a person is scared of Ashkodesh Baruch Hu because he knows that he did X, Y, Z, and he's going to have Oinish. He's miming in the Oinish, and immediately he's scared. That's one type of a yira. There's another type of yira, which is the thicker type of yira that the Torah really wants in Yiras Hashem, is what's called in the Rishonim Yiras Hamroimimus. That a person has yira from HaKadosh Baruch Hu not because he's going to do anything to him. It's just because he is makir and experiences and feels the Roimimus, the godless of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and from that he feels he's in the presence of such a great HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he feels, he gets scared. And these two years, sometimes you have a person who's poshet, scared, he's in a matzah of, of sakona, in danger, someone's going to kill him, possibly chas v'shalom, someone's going to hurt him, and he's scared, he's not, he has pachat. That's the simple type of a year, he's afraid, poshet, that something's going to happen to him. He could have that to parallel, be afraid of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Yira Zaynish. The other type of year we also have in the world. Anyone who has ever zaycha, to go into the house of a God will be Yisrael, right? Nothing's going to happen. He's not going to hurt you. Maybe the Gaboy, but he's not going to hurt you for sure. And you feel a, a, a hergish of pachat. People get scared. Pasha, you go into the God, you, you feel scared. You feel scared. You have that, that, that's Yeras Arabimus. That's, that's, that's a hergish of Yeras Arabimus. And those two years we have also parallel in, in, in Yeras Hashem. We have Yeras Hashem in Yeras Arabimus. And Yiras Hashem and Yiras HaRoimimus. The question is, why do these two types of Yiras, both goyrim, both evoke the same emotion in a person? When a person is scared because someone has shot my kill him, he gets scared. And when someone comes in contact in the presence of greatness, he also is scared. It's the same emotion.
emotion, it's both being scared. What's the shaykhahs between them? It's two different, it's two different things. One time he's, something's going to happen to him, he's scared, and one time nothing's going to happen to him, he's just in the presence of godless. <coughs> that also makes him scared. Why do both of these things create the same emotion, the same hargosha of Yira? It could be that the pshat is like this. What is the esoid of Yira? Why does a person feel Yira? Let's start with Yira Sa'inish. The simple Yira. Yira, because something's going to happen. Why does he feel Yira? What's his Ergish of Yira? The Ergish of Yira is when a person feels that his Metzius is in question. Someone Chas Shalom is threatening me and who knows what's going to be. And he feels his Metzius is a question mark on his whole Metzius. And that's why the physical reaction to Yira is that a person shakes. Because that shows that his whole, his whole Metzius, his whole Mohus is not stable. There's an error. There's a shake-up in his whole Metzius. Because what's going to be with him? Who knows? The, the future is, is, is unsure. It's not clear what's going to happen. And because of that, he shakes. That's the hargosha and the physical reaction of shaking. So the hergosh of Yira comes when a person feels that his Metzius, his Mohus is in question. That's the same hergosh a person feels when he comes in contact with greatness, with Remus. Why? Because a person, Bedera Chlau, likes to walk around feeling, I'm okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mensch, I'm a ben toira, I'm whatever he wants to consider himself, and he's happy with himself. Until he comes in presence of godless, and he sees what a person really is, he sees what greatness is, he sees what a godless is, and then he looks at himself, and what am I? What am I? If that's, if that's what a mensch is, what, what am I? If that's what greatness is, what am I bechlau? So that also puts a question on his Metzius. And then mainly he has that same hergish of Yira. Like the Lashon of the Rabbah, when he speaks about Yira Sarayimus, he says that a person sees the godless, the greatness of a Kaddish Baruch Hu, he feels like a Briya Shvala, a Fela, nothing compared to this greatness. So that also causes this Ra'oda, this shaking of Yira, because they're both the same thing. When a person feels that his Mohus is in question, it could be because it's physically the Metzius is in question, or what he always thought about himself is in question. That also causes a certain feeling of hero. That's the reason why a person is margish. When he comes in contact with greatness, he feels this agosha of hero. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in Yiras Hashem, we have both Chiyuvim, Yiras HaRoinesh, and Yiras HaRoinesh. If we would see and appreciate and feel HaKadosh Baruch Hu in our midst, we'll also feel that smallness <laughs> when it comes to 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 Yemei Hadid, there's a Mordechai Loshen that it says in Chazal. The Loshen that it says in Chazal is that after the whole Achana of Elul and the Yom Leiroyim, says to me, Shuvah Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, the final goal is Hakadosh Baruch Hu says. If you do all that, you're supposed to do all the proper avodah. Ani evro lochem bria chadosha. Hakadosh Baruch Hu says at the end of the day, I'll recreate you as a new person. Rosh Hashanah is hayoyim haras olam. It's the yoyim of yitzira. It's the yoyim of bria. It's the yoyim of creation. And if we don't do, we ourselves have the opportunity to be recreated on Rosh Hashanah. It says in in Svarim that the forty days of Elul and Rosh Hashanah, Aser Shmichubi and Kippur, those 40 days are connected the Arborim Yoim of Yitzira Saflat. A flat, a flat, an Ubar, Bimei Imoi, is not formed, doesn't have the din of a flat until 40 days. 40 days are Yomim of Yitzira. Klal Yisrael was in the Midbar for 40 years, it's also 40, but that was the time that they were created, that was the Yitzira of Klal Yisrael. These 40 days of Elul, Yom Deiroyim, is a chance to be recreated. And the Evro Lachem Bria Chadosha. I think one Pasha Nazach, if a person, I'll give him a marshal, a person has a house, and the house is a little bad shape, it needs she puts him, it needs to be fixed up. So what does he do? He just walks in and he starts building. You can't build if it's already built. If what's there already is not so good, you have to knock down a few walls, you have to chip off the old paint, and then you could start rebuilding. You can't build on something that's already fully built. It's there already. 
The only way to rebuild is only if it's broken down first something, whatever needs to take on, has to be broken down. Break a wall, chip off the paint, whatever it is, break up the floor, put a new floor, you have to, you have to do something first. To build on god building, that's not the way to build. And it doesn't work, a lot of things you can't, and even if you do, it's called a, a shvacha job, if you build on stuff, on top of something that's already there. The right way to build is to break it down first. If HaKadosh Baruch Hu promises us, Ani evra lachem briach hadosha, I'll recreate you, but we're already created, already here. How? Where's the room for the new Bria? The answer is, the room comes from Yira. Yira, what does Yira do? Yira is a little bit of a breakdown. I'm not, I'm not exactly what I should be. It's a little bit of breaking, shaking up, causing a little bit of a, a zizuach, a shake in his zikh, in his mahos, what he is. And then, there's room to be recreated. But if a person just walks in, to the Yom Neirayim, without any shake up Bichlal. So he's fully built, he's all there. There's room for another building on top of it. You can't build al a building. You have to break it down first. So that's why there has to be Yira Sashem before the Yom Adin. The Yira Sashem before the Yom Adin is not just because Batak is scared. That's, that's for sure. But it's something that's necessary. For what the Yom Adin does for us, year is necessary. We have to have a certain breaking of the past, a shake-up of what we are, in order to have Ani Ever Lachem Priya Chadosha. Torah is the same thing. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave the Torah in order to build a person, to create a person, to build the atzmius of a person. It says in Chazal, the famous words, Barosi Yitzahora, Barosi Torah Tavna. I heard from a big Talmud Chacham once, and he was also surprised at what it was saying, but he says, Shteton Chazal, an unbelievable zach. The Torah is Madama Barosi Yitzahara, Barosi Torah Tavlan. The Torah is the Tavlan for the Yitzahara. <coughs> Tavlan means the spices. Where do you put spices? If you have a piece of meat, and you eat it without spices, it doesn't taste good. If you put spices in, then the meat tastes delicious. But what's, what's the ikker? The tavlin or the basar? Of course the basar is the ikr. The tavlin is, is, is not the ikr. The tavlin is the tavlin. The basar is the ikr. You need the tavlin to bring out. If, a tar, if it says in Chazal, Barasi Yitzahara, Barasi Torah, tavlin, what's the ikr? The ikr is the Torah? State in Chazal, no. The mensch is the ikr. The person is the ikr. HaKadosh Baruch who gave the Torah to make a mensch out of us. That's why Hashem gave us the Torah. The Torah is the tavlin for it. Otherwise, the Torah could have said in Shemayim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us, like, the conversation between Moshe Rabbeinu and the Malachim. Klum yeish yitzahara b'neichem. You don't have yitzahara, we need the Torah. We need the Torah, because the purpose of the Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah, to make a mensch out of us. Not to just remain with all the netiyas, the netiyas of the guf, and just go on and on following all the ritzoyinus and the typus of the guf. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah as a tavlin to make a mensch out of us. But at the end of the day, what's the ikr? The Torah or the mensch? Shtei or the mensch with the Torah. That's what the ikr is, the Torah is the tavlin. So it's the same thing. The Torah is there to make something out of us. If we're just going to approach the Torah, then no, I don't need anything to be made out of me. I'm fine. I'm perfect. I like my house. I like my car. I like everything I have. Everything's perfect. I also want to learn. So the Torah has nothing to build. You're fully built. You're perfect. Everything's great. If you want the Torah to be able to build you, you have to first shake something up. Shake up your previous Metzias, be mevatel a little bit, the previous Metzias, and then approach the Torah. Then the Torah could seep in, and then the Torah could do its job of building. That's the reason why both by Yoim Hadin and by Torah, the racious is always the Yira. Reish is Chochma Yira Sashem. Without that, it's not going to be Chochma. You can have a lot of Yidiyas. You can have a lot of Kenoshas and Poiskim. You can have a lot of Yidiyas. But that's not why HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah for Yidiyas. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah that it should build us. It should be our Bria, our Bria. We should be created from the Torah. That's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us the Torah. Without that, we don't have anything. Without the Yira, it's not going to go in. We have nothing from it. 
And that's the pshat, that's mamish yiras Hashem, he oitzaroi. Without the yira, the Torah is there, but it stays outside. If you want it to build, you need the yira. And that's the point of yira. Because the yira is when a person doesn't, not everything's him, not everything's himself, not everything about me is just perfect. And a person has a shake-up, then the Torah is able to fill that place and build a person. And that's the Indian of the Rashi's Chachma, also in the Yoim Adin. So that could be Pshat in what the Briskarov was saying. Mitzar Echod, we know Zoichel and Viroya that we're about to say Miyoim Bayecha. That's the Hargosha of Yira. Mitzar Echod. It's much easier to build it right than it is to fix it after it was broken, after it was already built. This is during the Zman of the Yitzira, of the Bri, of the creation. That's why tshuva works much better, because you have a chance to build it right in the first place. But Achopon and Boifin, they maybe that's the Indian. What's the Indian that the Torah says? The Tuchim Sheyasel and Nes, what's this Nes? The Nes is that Bria Chadosha. And the Evro, this Avtocha that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, and the Evro Lachem Bria Chadosha. That is the Nes. That's a Nes. I'm here already. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, no, I'm going to recreate you. That's a Nes. Says the Briskarov, the only way that you could be batuach in that nace is if you have hero. Because without hero, like we explained, there's no room for that Bria Chadosha. Where should it be chal? You're fully built. First, you have to have the hero, have the shake-up. And when Mela, something's broken, now HaKadosh Baruch Hu could recreate it and taka, build it like it's supposed to be. That's the Indian of Yira Hashem, Hiyot Tzoroi. That's the Indian of Zoichel and Veroya de Meyoyim Bayecha. As we started with the, the full emotion, Hergesh of Yira, our door has a certain numbness too. There's no question about it. But at least to understand the Yonim, the Seichel, and to approach the Yonim Neroyim with the proper seriousness, the proper frame of mind. Mitzvashem, we should talk of Yizoycha to Tfilash, Shemineskabu, Berotzen, and Mitzvashem, Maksim, Vachasim, Atoyim.